Hey guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. I want to keep addressing the things you know that I get instead of just making videos of things that I think. I just want to keep addressing things and questions that you guys make and I try to go by order of what I get the most. And after I posted many videos here, you know, with the one-handed, especially the clean one-handed, and on Instagram, I get a lot of questions on how to hit a very short angle, you know, the ball that maybe not too much from the baseline, but when you are, you know, you're from the baseline here, you hit and then you come inside of the court, maybe three, four steps, close even to the service box to hit the ball, you know, very loose with the hand that is gonna open and bounce inside of the other service box and go out to the side, probably the second bounce already on the fence or close to the fence, depending on the space you have on the side of the court. And I wanna address, you know, the question because I think it's great. I like, I, I use it very much and I think it's a great resource to take some pace out of the ball and just take your opponent. One of the players that I like, um, I mean, he's not playing right now, Andy Murray. Okay, he's very good at cutting the pace, you know, the short balls coming in and taking the ball very, you know, very short angle outside. I mean, it really breaks the point because you are having a rally from the baseline and the moment your opponent comes in, you know, he takes all the pace out of the ball and he just plays almost a dead ball, of course, to the side. Then you have to run, leave all the court open, arrive very forced to the ball. So I just wanna, you know, show you how I do it and, and you know, teaching you a couple of things, show you how you can do this one. I mean, I'm gonna show you with the one-handed, but the same concept could be applied for the two-handed. All right, let's go to see it. A couple of things that are a key for this ball are of course getting from under the level of the ball you will need to move okay, I think here you can see me you will need to move here get to the ball quick put the leg in front and before hitting you will need to make a good you know a good uh, uh, how could how could I say you know the best yeah a good bend of your knees just to get from under the ball and really lift it because you're gonna lift it with your hand, okay, no pace at all. You can see that I'm hitting and I'm lifting because if I transfer the weight, what's gonna happen is the rotation is gonna make the ball probably go wide. So you need to kind of get here, make a good, you know, coming down here and just lifting the ball with your hand and taking. Okay, you really want the ball to have no pace at all. Of course, this ball has to be you can't hit this ball from a flat ball coming. You have to hit this ball and be very smart with it, with the ball that after, you know, your opponent try to open you and you get here and instead of just, or even taking down the line, you're gonna come here with all the pace, just like if you were gonna hit so aggressive onto that ball, you know, coming here. But the moment you arrive, all the revolutions of your body come down and you just make a touch to a side. All right, now I'm gonna show you from the other side so you can see the trajectory of the ball. Right there you saw from one angle and the other how the ball go, the trajectory of the balls, 
how I get under there. Okay, I just make a short touch. That's why I say you can't hit this ball. Please don't try to hit from a flat ball. You need the ball to come cross court. Okay, better. From a cross court ball with not too much pace, but some spin on it. It looks tough. You say, oh, you have to wait for the right ball. Yes, you have to wait for the right ball to make the right decision. That's the way you play. And then it looks, you know, like, oh, but how I'm gonna recognize the ball? You're gonna start to get it, okay? But whenever you have a ball cross court coming with not too much pace and some spin on it, get in there and do it. Sometimes your opponent will see that you open too much and he will start to cover the cross court. And there is when you get down, kind of like, you know, faking that you're gonna go to that cross court and then you make a little tap down the line. Then your opponent gets all breaking and you quickly recover to cover the middle because if he gets there, he will try to bring a cross court ball. If you get to the cross court there, any way you recover a little to the middle to cover the ball that could come down the line or be ready from another cross court angle, all right? Get to practice this. Comment below if you have any question about this ball. Again, a lot of repetition. You really need to loosen up your hand here. If you are a one-handed or two-handed backhand with stiff hands, you will need to work a little. Starting from the mini tennis, in all the relaxation of the hands here, you can see how my hands in the two-handed are very relaxed. One hand here, very relaxed because you're just gonna need to brush the ball a little to the side, getting from under the level of the ball. Not too much body rotation involved in this. Just more like a little good touch, all right? I hope you guys practice this. If you like it, like the video, share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.